So in my last video, I said I was going to go start concentrating on the engine again and uh, order the fabric covering, but then I thought about it. I said, well, why would I order fabric covering for a wing I haven't inspected internally? So, especially since the left wing weighed 10 pounds more than the right wing, inexplicably. So uh, I decided, well, we better go do that first before we do anything else. Now you'll notice the wings are stored on this nifty little thing someone made. Uh, it's got little caster wheels on it. The wings stack in there. They lock in place, and they have the leading edge down. So uh, note to anyone else that tries to do something like this, the drain holes for the wings are in the trailing edge. So the trailing edge should be at the bottom with the leading edge at the top. And yes, you guessed it. I figured out what the extra 10 pounds was. <laughs> Guess what it was. So let's go take a look. Uh, yep, it's water. Okay, over a gallon of water. And where has that water been sitting? Well, it's been sitting in the leading edge. In that nice little watertight compartment right there. Did it do any damage? Who knows? I'm still assessing it. Uh, the wood doesn't feel wet. It's lacquered really nice to keep water out. Uh, it was a totally avoidable, unnecessary thing to happen. And, uh, well, that's just the way things are. So, aside from uh, making sure you don't store your wings with the leading edge down since the drain holes in the fabric on the, are on the trailing edge, okay? Uh, if you buy a plane, even if it's aluminum, you should probably weigh both the wings and find out why there's a discrepancy before you buy the plane. Uh, I mean, that that would have been a fl big flag to me had I, you know, gone to, to that trouble, but we never inspected the wings. I, it was th I didn't care. It was $1,000. I was getting the in, you know, all the stuff. Who cares? Uh, do I think it's damaged? No, I don't think it's damaged. Um, there, there is an issue here. It's kind of hard to tell from the photos. If I did the photos from the side, you see better. But this uh, wood here that covers this, this veneer is dimpled, you know. Is it from the water? Is it from uh, not being properly braced in the d overall design? Uh, who knows? Going to have to do something about it because uh, if you cover it, it's going to be all, you know, sinking in everywhere. Uh, it won't be a good leading edge. So I'm going to have to address the issue and figure out, did the water do it? Don't know. Um, maybe when I get the other wing uncovered and inspect it, assuming it has no water in it, uh, we'll be able to tell. So maybe I'll have to pull all this off and re-glue all this with new wood. Who knows? Uh, I guess the upside is that since it was stored with the leading edge down, there's no damage to any of the other wood because it was all contained down here in this little area. Um, how deep is a gallon of water inside this long, whatever it is, 12 foot, I don't know, uh, leading edge? Half an inch, quarter inch, an inch tall? I don't know. But, uh, so anyhow, let's go look at some stuff here. Uh, so previously, the uh, left wing weighed 704 ounces, and the right wing weighed 544 ounces, 545 ounces. And we're like, ah, oh, that's 10 pounds. Uh, that includes the ailerons, covering, control cables, all that stuff, okay? That's what they weighed. Uh, the uncovered left wing, including the uh, covered aileron, because I haven't taken the covering off it, and the aileron cables and pulleys, okay? now weighs 509.6 ounce, ounces instead of 704. Uh, what's the white, right wing weight? Well, 545. The removed covering I've taken off so far is 56 ounces. So if we take 509 and 556, we're at like 560. Uh, and uh, that's just a tad heavier than the right wing. So we think maybe the right wing has no water in it, okay? Because it's still lighter than the left wing. Which, you know, is there water in the wood? Could be. Uh, in a, is everything perfect between the two wings, the way they're made? Well, let's see. 509.6, uh, what, plus uh, 56? Okay. And then we subtract 545 for the other wing. And, and we did it wrong, so let me do that again. 545? All right, minus 545. So that's 20 ounces of weight. I believe, if I did all this math right, you see five, fifties, yeah, yeah, twenty. Uh, so there's still a twenty ounce discrepancy in weight between the two wings. Uh, could that be water soaked in places and droplets of water here and there? Possibly. I've wiped out as much as I could. I'm sure it's damp, so there could be twenty ounces of water. It could just be, you know, more paint on uh, the ailerons or more paint on the Less pain on the other wing. Who knows? We won't know until I get the wing uncovered. Anyhow, uh, so it's definitely uh, was water in the wing. It was definitely stupidly caused by making a nifty little thing and probably leaving it out in the rain once and storing it on the leading edge. So uh, 
Well, we'll just have to wait and see where I go with here from here with the wing. I mean, it looks good. It's got some issues. I guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see.